Hi, it's Susan. I have been busy making stuff and I want to share some of that with you here today. I have got a flip through of five journals that I've been working on. If you have been coming to my Wednesday live streams, and I will repeat that again because that is an important clue for a question I'm going to ask you later on. But if you've been coming to my Wednesday live streams, you have seen me working on these. And I just want to tell you a little bit about them and then I will flip through them. These are some covers that came as a result of us uh, having to pack up the house because we thought we were going to be evacuated for fires. And I didn't have a whole lot of supplies left when we were still here, but I wanted to work on something. So what I did is I picked up my little lacy scraps and stitched them down to a backing fabric and just kind of went crazy stitching all over the place, with, then did some couching with some fibers and then did some beadwork. And this is all new for me. I've never done anything like this before. So it was a new thing for me to try. And I really had a lot of fun with it. I will be making some more of these for sure. And I really appreciate everybody that, that hung with me during my Wednesday live streams in order to um, kind of cheer me on while I was working on these. And the reason these are special is because I wanted to do a giveaway for reaching 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube and you guys have been really awesome at helping me reach that milestone and I really appreciate that. So these are the journals I made up and I made five of them because it's a 5,000 subscriber milestone and I just would like to show you they're, they're tied with the Sari Silk. The idea of these is not that they are a finished journal that you can, you know, I mean you obviously could use it just like this, but this is just a loose binding so you can take it apart because they're kind of stuffed and you might want to make it just a single journal or you might want to use the papers in something else and use this as a needle book or whatever you want. But this one is brown and they're all lined with the same kind of inside material. There's lots of little bits of ephemera and I'm only going to show you this one time to show, but it does, it's a corner cut to fit at the top or the bottom of the pages and you can you know make that a little tuck spot for you. There is a paper clip. You can add some more decorations on it. There is one of my little patchwork um, index cards. And then you've got some of my dyed papers and each one's going to have the same items in it, uh, slightly different, you know, we've got some pictures from the magazine or from a, a really good book. This is a stamp on some deli paper so it will disappear when you glue it onto something else. And again, you can just slide these papers out because it's just a uh, ribbon binding, I guess you would call it. So we've got some papers. You've got a little, this is one of my handmade envelopes with and I won't go through all the little pieces, but you've got some stamped fabric, you've got some little fabric dangles, you've got some paper things. So you can just sort of play with these and do what you want. There's some stenciling on the pages. Some old book text. This is a postcard of one of my photographs. This is a uh, chickadee. This makes a good journaling card. This is some neat uh, wax paper that has been, or not wax paper, parchment paper that has been uh, painted. I'm just going to flip through really fast because there are five of these. Here's another little library pocket that's got all sorts of other little bits of ephemera, quotes, things that you can play with in there. This is some of that painter's paper. It's got just a nice different texture to it. Some more book page. This is one of my alcohol ink papers. Tea dyed papers. This is one of my leaf impression papers. And we flip through the other side. Get some more stencils. Looks like we have another little envelope. Now this envelope has not been attached so that you can open it up and get to all the ephemera in there and do whatever you want with it. Got some sheet music, some doilies, just all kinds of things. Here's another one of my photograph postcards. Just stuff that you can play with and have some fun, either taking it apart and decorating the pages for this journal or making, you know, you've probably got enough papers in here, you could make a couple single signature journals. And there you go. And then there's uh, the beading is only on the front. 
So that is brown, which is a good thing to remember as well. Like I said there are a uh, couple questions I'm going to ask you at the end, and that will help me decide who I'm going to give these journals to, how you can win. This would be green. You know, and I put a couple rows or a couple um, lengths of ribbon as far as the binding goes, so you can take that apart and use it for something else. This one's got some beads on the front, and you've got the stitching on the back. Whoops, and some loose threads. That's a bonus. Always a bonus. And so again, you've got the paper clip, and you can add some more decorations to it. A little patchwork piece. Got one of my leaf prints. Pages. You have an envelope, and that's got your ephemera in it. Faster. That one's not working. We'll come back to that. Postcard, pages. Some of the pages have been uh, dyed with Lindy's Magicals, which are a lot of fun to use. Some doilies. So, some more of the wonderful crinkly paper. Love that sound. Some alcohol ink paper. It's another pocket with goodies in it. So see, they all have about the same kind of stuff, but just in there. The color family. And like I said, I'm, I'm zipping real fast here. You can always slow it down if you want a better look. But I was really happy to get to the end of these so that I can go on to my next project. Again, this is an envelope that's going to fold open. I'll just stick that one right in there. And that would be the green journal. Here we have the multicolored journal. So again, with the textured front with some beadwork, just the embroidery on the back, patchwork, got the distress sprays, paper clip, some more goodies here. Um, zip, zip, zipping along. We've got some ephemera in here. This is a jelly print. Tracing paper, book page, postcard, zip, zip, zip. And you guys really want to just get to the end, right, where I tell you how you can possibly win one of these. And it's easy. It's really easy envelope that opens up for some more ephemera. You've got some fussy cuts, some quotes, some little napkin bits that have been on uh, decoupage onto old book pages. I will say, if you watch me, you know that we have a dog, so if you have problems with dog allergies, I'm sorry. One of my leaf prints. You'll see this is all very loose. You can just untie that and then your pages come out and you can rebind it however you want or put the pages into other stuff or maybe just use all the pages to make a ephemera of your own. It's another library pocket with goodies in it. And there you go. And that would be the multicolored one. Right, let's see what else we have here. We have purple. All right, so you got the purple sari. You have the purple cover. Patchwork. We've got the envelope with some goodies. pages that you can do lots of things with. The alcohol inks. Just love these. This is tissue paper that I've painted. Music page. Postcard. It's 
that little envelope. And again, I'm not going to go through all the ephemera because you want some surprises, right, when you get this. Postcard. So this would be for the person who loves purple. Some more goodies in here. And a leaf print. All right, that's purple. And the last one is blue. I really, I like all of these. I think my favorite is the green one though. It's always green because you know I love green. So that's another important question. What is my favorite color? It would be green. Patchwork. There are going to be three questions coming up for you. Oops, that page is in upside down. We'll have to go take another look at that. And fix it. Some ephemera. And some tissue paper. Oops, the postcards. I didn't spread them out. Let's spread them out. There we go. Oh, I think I had those postcards in there twice. That's what happened. We'll have to go back through this one and fix it up. Tea dyed paper. So got some variety to play with. Some blue, again, some blue fiber then that you can take apart and do something else with. And here's the envelope that goes in the blue one. So my jelly prints with goodies. Goody, goody, goody. And the tissue paper the other side. Oh, I just love the way those colors came out. Yeah, I'll go back through here and make sure I get all these pages in right side up. And here's the library pocket. And again, with one of those little corners. So see, you can just glue that down there and then it makes a little tuck spot. But I left that for you to decide where you wanted to put it. And that would be the blue one. So we have one that's purple, one that's blue, one that's brown, one that is multicolored, and one that is my favorite color, which is green. So the questions I have for you in order to enter, and you need to put them down below in the, the comments, is um, do you remember what day I live stream? Tell me what day of the week I live stream and tell me which is my favorite color. And then you have to tell me which one you want if you win. And I will say that the uh, I'm going to post this video on Friday morning California time and I will leave the entries open until I get out of bed on Monday morning. So probably until about um, 9 a.m. on Monday morning and then I will close the entries and pick my winners through the random comment kind of thing. And that will let me know who to send these to. This is open internationally. And again, the questions that I have for you is which one of these journals would you like to win? Which color is my favorite color? And what day do I live stream? And if you can't remember that, you can go back to my channel art and look on my channel art and it does tell you what day I live stream. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Go out and find something beautiful and make great art, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.